Fort Hernandez with the Low Below and Southwest Flight News here with Benson Henderson. You're here in Albuquerque. How's the altitude treating you? Uh, fine. It's good. Good to go. You have a big card here that you're headlining with Rusam Habibov. When you first heard of who you were going to fight, you know, a lot of people, people you considering yourself that it was going to be someone else. You're a type of fighter that doesn't, that isn't scared of taking challenges. Is this just a step along the way for you? Uh, yeah, I, I would say exactly. I just have a step along the way. Um, I, I like fighting. I enjoy my job. I like what I do. Uh, they presented Bustam as the next opponent. I said, sure, sounds good. Let's do it. Yeah. And when it comes to training and preparing here, I understand that you were out in the mountains of Flagstaff, which are actually a lot higher. Is, how did you acclimate yourself to the training? I'm sure you're used to it because you go through it every training camp. Uh, oh yeah, you know, getting used to the training, whether it's an elevation or not an elevation, it's always tough. Training camp is, is hard. Uh, a lot of times it should be the training camps, you know, tougher than the tougher than the uh, the fight is. That's the way it's supposed to go. You know, train hard, fight easy. So, so, sort of an idea. Uh, but yeah, in Flagstaff, it definitely takes a little while to, to get used to that, to get accustomed to that elevation. Uh, going from 7,000, from sea level to 7,000, you know, took a little while to get adjusted to that. Now you're a black belt, Taekwondo, BJJ. Is there any other art that you just want to master the same way you've done those two other sports? Um, Oh, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, you're right. Uh, black belt, Taekwondo, black belt, BJJ, uh, collegiate, two-time All-American. Uh, so like, you know, wrestling is pretty good. I don't know. I, that's that's a good question. Uh, I, I, I'm a student of the art. I, I, I like you know all the different various arts, uh, from Muay Thai to Bogota to you know karate, Taekwondo, uh, Jeet Kune Do would be cool to get into. Like learning some of the, some of those uh, stuff like the moves themselves are pretty uh, they go throughout you know like the same move but then judo has a different name for it jiu jitsu has a different name for it american wrestling has a different name for it uh, muay thai has a different name for it bokuto has a different name for it but it's the same move so i mean there's really only so many moves out there but they just the way they put them together the name they call it uh, but i am actually a pretty big student of the sports i, I like to there's a lot, of, a lot of arts I would be interested in getting into and seeing, maybe not like a high, highly competitive level, but just knowing it for knowing to say, I think it'd be cool. And G Kune Do, is it because of just the fluidity that's involved with the sport? Yes, I, I like the ideology. From everything I've heard, I haven't done a, a ton of research, to be honest, mm -hmm. behind G Kune Do, but from what I know, uh, I, I do have uh, the, the Bruce Lee's book. Uh, I haven't read the whole thing, but you know, skimmed and per perused it. Um, I like the ideology of it, like, you know, flowing, like, go with, you know, you can do this, or you can do that, or you can do this. I like that a lot. That's actually pretty cool. It seems like every time you're on a card, you know, at least half or most of the crowd is against you. Is this just another way of, you know, battling a guy in his hometown, pretty much? Yeah, well, I think, you know, half the crowd's against you if you're fighting the home, in their hometown, you know. Probably doing Melendez in his hometown of San Jose. What do you expect? It's, you know, it's his backyard, you know. What do you, what do you, what do you think was going to happen? You know, uh, first fight in the UFC was against Mark Bocek in his backyard, you know, yeah. Toronto, Canada. Like, what do you expect? You're, not, like you're, you're, you're gonna get booed. Yeah, I actually, I've had quite a few of my UFC fights in other people's backyards. Uh, but you know, it's fine. It's cool. I, I can, I can. I'm pretty mentally strong, so I can deal with getting booed. So when here, are you gonna have the UFC take you back home? He's like, hey man, you guys owe me one back in my my hometown. Uh, I wish the UFC worked that way out. The UFC doesn't exactly. Does, does your job work that way? Your, your, no, no, no. Can way. you tell your boss, hey, you owe me one, so go give me this? No way. Yeah, UFC doesn't exactly work that way. I don't, I don't tell Dan White nothing. Yeah, finally, what can people expect out of you Saturday night, man? Uh, they expect a great fight, fireworks. Make sure you guys go get your tickets. There's, I think there's still a handful of tickets. The capacity is 9,000. At last I heard that there are over 8,000 tickets sold now, something like that. So there's a, still a handful of tickets out there. Go to ticketmaster.com, go get yourself some tickets, uh, and uh, enjoy the show live. There's nothing like seeing a UFC fight live. That's in Henderson, ladies and gentlemen. Best of luck Saturday. Thank you, man. Please enjoy it.